Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Here on Abby the Witch, we do witchy and alternative things. If you are a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. Nice to meet you and thank you for joining us today. So here today on Abby the Witch, I'm going to be talking about um, twin flames, in particular my, my twin flame. <laughs> um, so yeah, first I wanted to say my shout outs or what I was really more inspired, who I was inspired by today. Um, I was really inspired by Stories, Lores, and More with Aries Witchcraft because she did, a while back, like four months ago, she did a um, twin flame video. And Izumi Emerald Moon, the fiction lady, <laughs> um, also has talked about her twin flame as well. So I just felt really inspired. Wanted to do a twin flame video. I was inspired by them to do that. So um, this is my twin flame, Quack, my husband. Hi. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I guess we're just going to start by introducing ourselves and talking a little bit about who we are. And then we'll answer some questions and talk about twin flames and what twin flames are to us anyway um so where did you grow up well i don't want to give away all of my security questions online so oh my god <laughs> yeah he's in, he does cyber security so <laughs> i grew up in uh sorry just answer the question for you and in, in texas <laughs> a little bit and uh you know went to high school and middle school there and uh moved on to Alaska, which mm -hmm. is where we met. That's one of the questions, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I spent my 20s in Alaska, and then my late 20s in Indiana with Abby. <laughs> with me. By the way, we have this candle because it's holding the microphone. So that's our mic stand. <laughs> um, okay, and what do you do? I am a cyber threat hunter. Yeah, cyber security, right? Yep. Um, so he catches bad guys online, malware, hackers, like bad hackers. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and I try to secure systems and networks and stuff mm -hmm. with oh, computers. Whoops. Yep. Um, okay, so I'm, as most of you know, I'm Abby. Um, I grew up here in Indiana and went... Um, well, what do I do? I'll just answer that. I'll answer where, it, yeah, okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. I grew up here in Indiana and I have been many jobs, but currently I'm just doing YouTube and starting my Etsy shop and seeing where that goes and yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so twin flame. Babe, what do you think a twin flame is? Like to you, what is a twin flame or a soulmate? I don't know. It it sounds like it's like, like you know that Pokemon Charmander? Yeah. And he has that fire tail. <laughs> and if you like put it out, he dies. Yeah. It's kind of like that, right? How, what does that have to do with a twin? Well, you know, it's like quantum <laughs> physics. What? You know, because like some there's entanglement, entanglements when like. Well, I don't know much about Pokemon, so I don't <laughs> have give give me another example of what you mean. Yeah, it's like quantum physics. It's like entanglement because there's like uh, something that happens with atoms where they become connected together from far distances and if you do something to oh. one atom it happens to the other atom also and it's called entanglement oh yeah. so they're like attracted to each other or something they're like the exact same atom but oh they're like separated yeah yeah okay um would you like to add anything else to that that's a really good example i like that yeah it's very creative it happens in real life it does <laughs> yeah um, so to me, a twin flame is like, like I said, soulmates, um, soulmates or twin flames don't have to be, they don't have to be romantic. I, in my experience from, from what like people I've known that has a twin flame or have met their twin flame, like it's usually a romantic thing. Um, but it doesn't have to be like, I know people who like their best friend is their soulmate or like a sibling or whatever. Um, I feel like. 
twin flames, like your souls kind of like recognize each other. Like you just fit really well. Um, I feel like it's definitely fated. Um, it's definitely fate to meet each other, to meet each other, and the timing is fated too. Like you come into each other's life at a certain time for a reason, right? You are there for each other to help carry out each other's life missions. Um, and I've noticed too that with twin flames, like you said, with the distance thing, that most usually twin flames uh, meet at really obscure places or like they're really far apart and coincidentally met or whatever. Um, so yeah. That's my that's my idea of a twin flame. And I also think that usually you and I are like on the same wavelengths, like our brain kind of like is on the same frequency. So yeah, that's <laughs> what I think. Okay, so now that we've talked about what a twin flame is to us, there's some questions that we're gonna answer. So how did we meet and what was it like? You can say first. Okay, well, we met online, um, you know, and I'm pretty awkward, so same. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty rough, but I think you know we got through some of the awkwardness, and we were able to. It wasn't you weren't too awkward. I feel like you're always <laughs> so insecure about that. You're really yeah. not that awkward. I don't know. Yeah. Either way. <laughs> yeah, I you know. And I was still feeling pretty insecure, like I'd gotten, uh, just moved into an apartment and... You really had just moved into there? Well, I'd been there like four months. Oh, I thought you'd lived there a while. I don't remember that. It was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I was sort of in my groove, you know, like mm -hmm. I had these jobs and I was um yeah you had like three he had like three jobs yeah and I was playing violin for uh for this musical and it was just like I felt ready to start dating mm -hmm. but you know Alaska sort of has like a very <laughs> small community and a very weird community, it's if I'm very, being honest. <laughs> yeah, it's a really small and weird community. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it's like if you started dating, like, on an app, but, like, everyone in high school that you knew was on there. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like that because you, like... You know everyone? Yeah, you know everyone. Yeah, you know everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's what it was like in Akiak too, the village. <laughs> yeah, but, and yeah. so, you know, and I saw you, I was like, well, I've never met her before, so. Fresh meat. <laughs> Stupid. Not fresh meat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we started talking. I think. What drew me to my profile, or drew you to my profile, I mean. Because we, we met on OkCupid. Okay <laughs> we were 25 <laughs> so yeah I don't know I I think you you put that you liked uh, reading or writing yeah and yeah I think that's what drew me to your profile too so yeah. creative writing yeah I was like really into creative writing back then yeah we both were I think you know it's kind of weird now because everyone thinks of me as like tech guy. Yeah, it is but weird. It, it's like it's like a one eighty. Yeah, people don't realize that that was like a career change for me. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I was there with you, baby. <laughs> yeah, and you know that was um, you know I I wanted someone to talk about reading and writing with. Yeah, maybe even write with. And, yeah, you know collaborate with. I think that was. You know, uh, something that I was really into too was like collaborative writing, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And so, how did we meet, and what was it like when well, we met? When we met, I was really nervous because I was picking you up from a hotel. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure I was going to recognize you right away, or like. You know, but you saw me and I saw you, and so that made it a little bit easier. 
Yeah, and yeah. we recognized each other. Yeah. We knew. We knew. We knew what but was up. I was nervous. I wasn't going to be able to find you or Keats to stand me up or something. Aw. So, really? Yeah. That's sad. <laughs> no one have stood you up. Yeah. But you didn't know me, so. <laughs> but, yeah. And we went to a bar. Uh, Bernie's Bungalow. The In cool, Anchorage. The coolest bar I could have thought of to take you to. <laughs> Back yeah. when we liked to drink. <laughs> yeah. And actually went out. Yeah. I mean, you know, they had my uh, favorite beer there on tap, I think. Was, um... Oh, I, I wonder if they had the love buzz there. Do we have that on our first date? No, that was our, that was our, no. That was um the second, like, more official date. Like, oh. when we were more official. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's a good beer, though. And, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it always reminds me of, uh, when we were dating. Yeah, yeah. No, it does, for sure. It reminds me of that night. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And we pretty much just sat and talked all night. Yeah, we really. did. Yeah. <laughs> Until you threw up. But I, I can edit that part out if you want me to. It's not real. No, it's okay. You can tell the whole world that He was really through. fucking nervous, okay? <laughs> and he had, like, a beer or something, and it got really sick. Yeah, I'm a lightweight. So, I, I don't drink, drink much anymore. Well, no. Yeah, we were both lightweights, but we were both just fucking nervous. Yeah. And I think that did not help. You don't usually throw up when you drink. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Yeah. You're right. What else? Anything else you want to add? Mm. You don't have to. I was just making sure I before I cut you off. No, I think that's pretty much it. Okay. So, now it's my take on what it was like. <laughs> so if you can't tell or haven't been able to tell already, Quack is not quite as enthusiastic as I am. <laughs> You're like, yeah, it was nice. <laughs> it, 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 was, it was fine. Like, to me, it was like a magical evening. But <laughs> you, I mean, maybe it was, but just like the way you talk about it is like very low key. But anyway, it's okay. I love you. <laughs> okay. Um, so I used to be a teacher, and I used to teach up in. A very my dog is licking my leg and it's very annoying. Coconut, go. <laughs> um, I used to teach in a very rural village up in a little village called Akiak, Alaska, and I had gone into town into well the city Anchorage, um, for teacher conferences, and I was on a dating website because I too was at a point in time where I was like, okay, I think I could actually start dating again. I had been living for almost a year out by myself in Bush, Alaska. And and um, so I was in town, he messaged me and asked to take me out to, I think an open mic poet poetry night or something like that in Anchorage. And I said that I'm only in town for a couple of days and you were like, oh, well let's go out tomorrow night. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And so that's how we met. And it was like, I was also very, very nervous. I had gone out with a lot of people before, and he had too. Like, we both had dated a lot or whatever. And I, this was the first date in like a long time that I had actually felt like actually nervous about. Like, it was like, why? I remember asking myself, why the fuck am I so nervous before going downstairs? I was like, very, very nervous. And, um, and I also, I think I was nervous too, though, because I didn't have like, I was just in town for teacher conferences. So I didn't, and I was like living out in the bush. So I didn't have any nice clothes and I didn't have time to like go get something cute. So I like showed up to our date downstairs with like a hoodie, but I was like, this is all I got. Um, but to be fair, that's kind of like the. That's normal Alaska yeah, that's, attire. That's normal yeah. Alaska yeah for sure but i yeah i showed up in a hoodie but anyway <laughs> um but yeah it was it was nice and we we talked we hit it off pretty quickly and i definitely knew i wanted to keep talking to you for sure yeah and um i definitely had like a physical reaction they uh, i've heard other people with twin flames like they get like a physical reaction when they meet their twin flame and i definitely had a physical reaction it was nerves and I was hot and I was tingly (laughs) 
Um, but then we kept talking to each other even like right after our date. Like that date night, I had to go back into Akiak like at six in the morning. I remember that. Yeah. And I only got like three hours of sleep that night because our date, because we were out so late, like hanging out. Anyway. Um, okay. Question number two. Was it really good timing when we met? Like, was it good timing in your life or was it like disruptive? No, I think it, it fit in pretty well. I think, you know, it, it's funny because like, uh, you know, very few things in my life are like well planned or uh, thoroughly thought out and so it's like Mm -hmm. you know it just happened to work out I mean you know and it it's maybe was even better that you were living in Akiak because I was already so busy that yeah it was like you know I could see myself like quitting a job maybe to spend more time with you or something like that I <laughs> that would have been irresponsible <laughs> but yeah I think it it worked out really well it did work out yeah so for a while I I mean I had to go back to Akiak right so when did we meet we met in when did we meet February yeah yeah February like January February I think it was January yeah something like that and then we dated from a distance until that next school year. So for like six months. Because that summer break, I saw you for a couple weeks and then I just went home to Indiana to see my family. Yeah. So it was like six months of living distant. And it was really fucking hard living so far away. But I just find it so crazy that I always joke that I had to go all the way up to Alaska to find my twin flame. Or not, even before I knew about twin flames, I would say I always had to, you know, I, I had to go all the way up to Alaska to meet meet quack i just think it's you know weird that you're from texas and i'm from indiana and we met in fucking alaska i don't know i just (laughs) (laughs) um so yeah funny how it worked out yeah it is really funny and it was it was good timing for me too i'm sorry did you have anything more to add no okay um it was good timing for me too because like i said it was i was definitely ready to start dating again um but at the same time I think it was perfect timing for me because I really needed some, I needed some fucking support in my life. I was like all by myself, first year teacher, fucking in Bush, Alaska, all by myself. Um, And I think it was just like, you needed to come into my life. And um, yeah, it was really good timing to meet my twin flame. (laughs) Um, Because he actually moved in, like literally, like, like I said, we met that second semester in February, March, April, May. So three months, and then I went home for a couple months to Indiana, came back in, like, August yeah. to Akiak, and we were like, fuck it, and you just moved in, because we couldn't handle the distance anymore. Yeah. And we didn't want to be apart anymore, so he just moved in with me in, in the <laughs> middle of nowhere. Yep. I just took a tote and my computer. Yeah. <laughs> we were both just like, fuck it, like... We know we want to be together, and we know we're meant to be together, so yeah. he just moved in. Plus, my mom was like, what are you guys doing? Just move in together. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty funny. But anyway, where did we meet? Met in Anchorage, Alaska. Just said that. Um, okay, and the number four. How do we fit together as twin flames, or like, how do we know that we're twin flames? I feel like we're definitely one in the same, at least like... Mm-hmm. With our powers combined, mm-hmm. we're like one human, mm-hmm. one balanced human. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think, yeah, you know, my interests are more towards like the physical world, right? And your interests are more towards the the spiritual side. Spiritual, yeah. And I don't mean like the physical world, as in like. Materialistic. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. You're yeah. more, he's more into like, he's more logic based and into like technology and yeah. stuff like that. Like where I'm at more into like 
working with energy and intuition. Yeah. 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 Sexiness. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Like, no, we know, I know what you mean. There's like physicality. The material world. <laughs> yeah. But even that sounds, I don't know. I know what you mean, though. He's more logic reasoning based, right? He's, you're very, um, even, you used to be very shades of black and white. Yeah. Even, even when I, I wrote, like our writing styles are completely different. Yeah. I write, like, I write very metaphorically. Right. And I'll, I'll write metaphorically too, but I like to, I like to rewrite a lot. You know, you like mm. to write what the first thing that comes to your head mm -hmm. and you know, to me, like, that gives me anxiety. Like, <laughs> if I write something, I want to, like, edit it. I want to go back and I want to, like, refine it. I want right. to clarify it. I right. Wanna, you know. I, There's I practical steps for it. you. Yeah. 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 yeah, for sure. No, I get that. Anything else you'd like to add? How do you know? How do I know? Oh, man. I guess it's kind of the same question. It, it's kind of the same question. I yeah. Think, but I think I, you know, it's just... You know, it's it's crazy how like we sort of settled into this uh, middle class lifestyle <laughs> where we're we're not like struggling to like pay for groceries and stuff anymore. Where yeah, we were poor as fuck, and yeah, and we we sort of we like first started dating. <laughs> we were really poor. Yeah, and we uh, you know it was like we we're just every day was so full of things we had to do I, I feel like all the time we we're just like doing stuff I think now we sort of settle down and it's like we've gotten to this routine and it, it's weird we we have like these days and hours where we just like sit down and we just talk for hours still yeah we do and you know I think the fact that we still do that after like all these years and it's always like a different subject and different topic mm -hmm. um, and it's always deep too it's not like yeah it keeps me like on my toes and keeps my mind open I feel like you know if it weren't for that I'd probably like sit down and play video games for hours <laughs> for in your spare time yeah instead of talking to me <laughs> well, you still play video games, but not as much as if you were a bachelor. Right, <laughs> right. It's like, you know, and it's it's weird when you get into those modes when you're just, like, doing the same things over and over again. That's mm -hmm. all you can think about. Mm -hmm. And that's like, you know, your your brain starts to become the thing that you're doing. But, you know, I feel more refreshed. Like, I can have a uh, another opinion on what's going on mm -hmm. on our day-to-day -day when you're around so oh and we can like talk about it is that what you mean not even just oh, that <laughs> it's like uh you know my uh i'm not just uh doing the same things you know i don't i don't stay in these cycles i feel like mm. i have more possibilities in my life when you're around like, uh -huh. like i have more more freedom because i have more endless ideas and notions to explore you know hmm. whereas like if i didn't have you in my life i would probably be like stuck thinking about like all right when you get to level 18 on Brood <laughs> you gotta pick this spell. I gotta reach but Legend on Hearthstone. I gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, you know? And that's totally, like, was my mindset just, like, 10 years ago. Well, like... <laughs> there was more than that. He, you, were, you were trying to figure shit out. Like, you were trying to figure out what you wanted to be when we first started dating. And you were, I feel like you were just exiting poetry and getting into technology when we first started dating. Yeah, yeah. So he was trying to like figure it out, and I don't know. You weren't all about video games. I mean, <laughs> he did play a lot of video games, but you were had more depth <laughs> than just that. It wasn't like, yeah, I don't know. But he did love Hearthstone. <laughs> yeah. I'm just my eyes have been really open since then, so 
I get yeah. that. Like all the things that you're learning and like connecting them and yeah, just seeing things completely differently because of it. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, back to your question, I think that like, <laughs> you know, definitely you're not just like two separate flames if mm-hmm. you continue the metaphor. You're you're two flames, but you become like bigger when you're together, right? Because yeah. Because it's like... We're a bonfire. Yeah, we <laughs> we help each other to, you know, open our minds. Like even if we're exploring different tracks mm-hmm. in our lives, you know, you still need to keep your mind open to other possibilities and Mm -hmm. try to integrate those ideas together Mm -hmm. so you can have like a really balanced notion of what's going on Mm -hmm. yeah no I agree I feel like we definitely not challenge each other but we definitely like ask each other like we we make each other critically think about things yeah I feel like for sure yeah and I think that's good all right, so I feel like we fit together. Like I envision Quack and I as like a yin and yang. I think we're yin and yang because, like I said, he is very, he is very, very, um, and especially when we first started dating, it was very opposite. Like we had a lot of similarities, like the creative writing and like our political views, and a lot of ways were very, very similar. But in the ways that were different, it's it was drastic, right? And I feel like you still are, by nature, a very, like, logic-based person. Um, And I am a very emotionally-based person. And over the years, we've kind of learned how to take from each other um, and give to each other kind of, like, how we handle situations or how we look at things, right? Like, I feel like you've become a lot more sensitive because of me, and I've become a lot more, like, logical because of you. You yeah, know, like I'm able to like look at my emotions and look at a situation logically now um, without overreacting, which I, I partially blame that on my spiritual path and, and witchcraft and stuff. But I, I give a lot of credit to you because you've kind of let me realize like you don't have to be like, let's look at why you're upset, you know, and I feel like I've taught you to be a little bit more like not everything is black and white, you know, like there's shades of gray and yeah, yeah. So that's what I feel. Um, And I know that we're twin flames because honestly, like, I'm going to get a little bit mushy here, but I mean, this is probably needless to say, but you're like, this is the best relationship I've ever been in. You know, like, I knew that. I knew, like, I just, you just fucking know, you know, like, I have zero regrets of getting married to you. I have zero regrets of dating you. I know that you're the one I want to fucking get old with. And when I think of my future, you're there. So in my eyes, that's a twin flame. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, and I've been in some shitty ass relationships, dude. But. No. That doesn't. Even ones where the person was nice. I was just like, I don't know. Like, I just, (laughs) I never got the same feelings, like, with anyone else that I did with you. You know? Yeah. And I couldn't really explain it. It was just like this need to, like, be with you. So, yeah. I love you too. <laughs> it wasn't a need. I don't need a man, but <laughs> I really had this strong desire to be with him for sure. And yeah, and just how we work together too. Like, I feel like, again, we like force each other to critical, th- critical think, um, critically think. Um, yeah, we still have, like Quack said, we still have conversations almost every day sometimes that <clears throat> sometimes that can last for a really long time you know so yeah we just fit together really well all right last question how long did it take for us to actually realize we were twin flames and if you don't i don't really remember like it was <laughs> april 12th of 2000 i don't know the exact date but i think it must have been after I moved in with you, mm. probably I don't remember what our first fight was. During but, a fight, really? No, I mean not during a fight. Oh, but you know, if it was during a fight, I probably remember what the fight was. But <laughs> you know, it, it'd probably be have to be after, you know, because honestly, I, I probably hadn't been in a relationship long enough to really have fights 
mess with people. You know? Yeah. No, I know. And you, <laughs> I think because you were yeah, really bad at it. <laughs> yeah, you you were the first uh, first person I ever moved in with. Yeah. Yeah, and so you know, it was. I don't know. I guess, you know, after living with you and... So everything was kind of new to you. Right. Like everything, all the feelings, it's almost hard for you to organize, I feel like, because it was all very new. Yeah, it, it was all very new. Yeah. But I think at some point, you know, you kind of realize, like, you could this, could... this could work out. Like, there's, you know, because we never had any sort of, like, super glaring fights. Like, things that... Well, we've had some rough fights, but we've we've always gone gotten through it, and we've always like that's that's part of what I I love about us too is we work through things very well together. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I think yeah, yeah, and and I mean yeah, but I I'm sorry. Go on. We we haven't had a ton of like explosive fights or anything like that. And yeah, just like one or two. But yeah, I think you know. I think that's part of it, though, is knowing that, like, you know, we can talk to each other through something like that and be reasonable about things. Yeah. You know, and... You now know, we can. Yeah, to where, <laughs> you know, it's like neither of our emotions are being neglected or, like, how we feel yeah. about the situation. Like, neither of us ever have to, like, concede too much. Mm -hmm. You know, to where it's like impossible. We meet in the middle to, pretty well, right? Yeah, the fact that we meet in the middle so well, maybe you know, it was probably earlier than this, but you know, I feel like after our road trip through the United States, it mm. was kind of like really obvious to me as like we're probably going to be together for the rest of our lives. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was, because I knew, like, I knew, I knew pretty well that first summer that we were apart that I was in love with you. Like, I knew for a fact, I was like, okay, I really fucking love this guy. Because I was, like, in pain being so far from you, you know? Yeah. But I feel like, and when you moved in, too, like, I, the, the feelings of when we decided that you would move in, how excited, elated I fucking was. Um, showed, proved to me, proved to myself that I was definitely very, very, very in love with you. I was very attached to you. And I, but I don't think, I agree though. I think the, like knowing like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to question, like, it's definitely like my feelings are right. Like I'm going to be with this person forever. Like that's when I knew it was like after or during our road trip. Yeah. I don't know what it was about that road trip, but. Yeah. I mean, you know. It was, it was all the weird little situations, like, you know, the uncontrollable situations that mm -hmm. we could get through together. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, you know, if we get in a fight now, it's like over, like, I didn't do the dishes or something like that, <laughs> you know, and it's like, you know, that's like, oh, well, you know, I, I guess I should have been doing the chores more or or if i'm hormonal i'll get like really mad about something sometimes yeah <laughs> but you know and those are all sort of mundane things yeah and you know they're easy i mean you know and we don't even really fight about it we just nip at each other <laughs> well yeah and we get through it yeah. we just talk about it yeah but you know like that road trip was like fuck our air mattress is <laughs> dude <blown. laughs> okay so we're referring to this road trip they don't even know we like we said, we lived in Alaska and we decided that, okay, my like contract was up at the school. I didn't want to resign. I was, I was, that was a point in my life I was done with. And we decided we were going to move back to Indiana. You decided you were going to move back with me. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so we decided, fuck it. Let's just take our two dogs and fucking drive across the United States <laughs> in a car, obviously. In a um, tiny Honda Fit. In a Honda Fit with that we still have. With all of our stuff. <laughs> with all of our stuff, with two dogs. And we drove through Canada, through the lower 48 to Indiana. And it was the most incredible fucking experience. 
I've ever had. Not only just with my husband, boyfriend at the time, but like ever to me. For me, that was the coolest experience, one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. Um, but it was definitely hard because like you said, there was like there was one night that Hachiko, one of our dogs, was a puppy at the time. So she, unknowing to us, we, we didn't know this at the time until we tried sleeping on it, but Hachiko had chewed a hole through our air mattress because she was teething. I don't even know how she got a hold of it, but there she is, looking right there, little baby. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she chewed a hole. And we, we were, at this point, we were in Canada in the glacier fields, like 10,000 feet above sea level or something crazy. Like, it was cold. It was freezing. <laughs> we were in the glacier fields, and we were camp- We were like, oh, this is going to be so cool. And it was, it was cool. It was so beautiful. It was stunning. It was in Banff. Wasn't it in Banff, Canada? It was, uh... Yes, it was in Banff. Yeah, Banff. Look up Banff. B-A-N-F-F Canada. Look up Google images of that. It's incredibly beautiful. But yeah, we had to sleep on a flat air mattress in like 32 degrees. Like it was... It it wasn't flat to begin with. It wasn't. We pumped it it up. Right. Yeah, yeah, we pumped it up and it lasted for like a couple hours. And we woke up on a flat air mattress. Yeah, it sucked, dude. I... But I... I, You slept through the night. (laughs) I woke up at like midnight two in the morning whatever i wasn't super freezing cold. yeah well you're an <laughs> oven and i'm cold that's another reason we're twin flames but the uh the uh desert was a different story the desert was a different story but i slept like in my winter coat that night like it was freezing but yeah then the <laughs> desert then we got we're going all over the place but then we drove through canada through montana all the way down to utah yeah right after visiting your mom in Vegas, we went to Utah and we camped in the desert. And that was, yeah, that was the opposite problem. <laughs> with two dogs and a tiny tent. Yeah. We were like, fuck it. We slept in our underwear with the screen off. <laughs> we were like, whatever, it's so hot. It was like 100 degrees. Yeah. We but, didn't even care. You know, we camped the whole way in a tiny tent. We did. In a we did. tiny tent. We we're broken. We, we were young and broke, and yeah. it was, you know, and it, you, people were like, "How did you do that?" We were like, "We just went on the side of the fucking road, found a campground or whatever, and fucking camped." Yep, twenty bucks. Ate at gas station. <laughs> this was before we were vegetarian or vegan. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's hard to travel the country on a budget as a vegetarian. That's almost yeah, we couldn't do it, that, but. The cost. Right. And we didn't prepare very well. Like, we were 25 and (laughs) just reckless. We just went. We just did it. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, no, I agree. That was definitely definitely when I realized that we were going to be together forever. Yeah. I knew I loved you way before that, but. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. But, But, you know, after all those trials and tribulations, you're just like, well, if we can we get can, through that, yeah, we can and if we can get through that and live a year together in Bush, Alaska, yeah, like we were solid after that, <laughs> yeah. solid. And he got me through my teaching career. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is about it. Um, if you have a twin flame, let me know down below. I would love to hear your story and how you met your twin flame. Um, if you have any questions for me or Quack or both of us. Um, please also let me know down below. I have an Instagram, Abby the Witch, just like it is here. I do tarot card readings over there on my IGTV. I also have an Etsy shop, which is Abby the Witch, just like it is here. Um, that's linked on my Instagram profile and my bio. Um, that's about it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. And until next time, I hope you stay well. Bye.